five machine learning algorithms you must know if you call yourself a machine learning enthusiast. Coming up. All right, let's get into the video. So all the data sets that I'm going to tell you now, I'll give the link in the description so that you can go on those links, have a look at them personally and start working on them. So let's talk about the first data set. The first data set is your California house prediction data set. It's a very simple data set. Your task is to find what will be the price of a certain house after you have studied and found a pattern between the given data set. Uh, in most of the cases, you're going to perform linear regression on it. This does not have many missing values and you can straight away uh, train your models. It's quite easy, it's not tough. So I would suggest you to first go with this California house prediction. The second one is of course going to be your credit card fraud detection. It is once again a very famous data set but a little complex than the first one. It does have some missing values. Your task is to detect whether a, a person who's coming into a bank and he or she gives the details, how good the possibilities are there that he's not going to lose his credit card details and how odd are the possibilities that he's going to lose. You are given some certain data sets of previous uh, users of that bank and you need to train a model and then give a judgment when a new person walks in whether he is going to lose his credit card details or not. It's quite interesting uh, with this data set and you should work on it. The third one that I would suggest is your iris data set. Now this is a data set most basically used for the classification. Your task would be to find the clusters from a given uh, data set. Now of course it is going to have three clusters namely if I'm not wrong iris virginica, iris setosa and iris this, there's one more flower. So this data set has sepal length, petal length and uh, some details of your uh, flowers. What you need to do now is whenever someone adds in some new details about a petal length, petal width, sepal length and sepal width of a new flower, you need to tell that out of three categories of this iris flower, the details that you have entered, that flower belongs to which category. So it's more in most of the cases, this is kind of classification algorithm you're gonna use on it. The third one, oh sorry, the fourth one is going to be, I believe you might have heard about it, it's your Titanic data set. Now in many of your Kaggle competitions, you will find that people would suggest you to go to first and start working on Titanic data set. The reason I chose this Titanic data set on the fourth uh, in the list because it's kind of not that easy data set. It has many missing values and it has many, many features to work upon. Only until if you know the basics of machine learning and has a, and have a good knowledge on how to train a model, how to select good features and how to get an output, you're going to get a better results in Titanic data set. It's fine if you get started with Titanic data set, but it's gonna spend you a lot of time to understand on whether to select a model or not, whether to select particular row or particular feature in your model training or not. So that is why I have kept uh, this data set on the fourth list. Also, if you go online, you'll find many, many solutions and those solutions are quite complex to understand. Whereas the first one that I have given is uh, the California house prediction is quite easy. It's totally fine if you want to get started with Titanic, but uh, only get started with Titanic if you have very good knowledge or a decent knowledge about the machine learning algorithms or the feature engineering. But uh, Titanic is once again a quite uh, interesting data set. Your task is to predict that whether a person will drown or not. <laughs> interesting, right? The last one that I would suggest to you is the MNIST handwritten uh, data set classification. So uh, this is a data set that has the uh, handwritten figures of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 0. Your task is to train those images and not actually images, those images are stored in a structured format. You need to store, you need to train those images and actually understand how does the five figure looks, how does the six figure looks and then pass a matrix, okay, then pass a matrix and identify whether this matrix is a five figure or a six figure or one figure. Uh, it's uh, kind of complex to even understand this data set 
Of course, the solution for this dataset is quite easy. There's no, no rocket science, but the main task in this dataset is to understand on how this dataset is created and how you need to actually evaluate it. Otherwise, the solution is quite easy. So those were the five algorithms. Oh, those were the actually five datasets that you must know. I'll repeat it once again for you. The first one was California house prediction. The second one was your credit card for prediction. The third one was Iris dataset. The fourth one was Titanic dataset. And the last one was your uh, Amnist handwritten dataset. Okay. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. I upload videos on every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for once again. See you in the next video.